Chapter 1 Accounting in Action During this chapter, we will be learning four objectives. In this PowerPoint, we will be discussing the first three points, whereas the fourth point will be discussed in another slideshow in Part 2. Please keep your books near you during the whole presentation. At the top of every slide, you will find the page corresponding to your book Accounting consists of three basic activities, identifying, recording, and communicating. Identifying is when the company identify financial, financial transactions. In other words, all transactions that are related to money, such as paying salaries, buying goods, buying equipment, selling new items, selling services. So any activity that involves money should be identified. Once identified, we move into recording. In recording, we record all the transactions that we found in the first step to keep track of all the events. When we finish recording, we communicate. We communicate all the recording by issuing accounting reports. Let's say an accountant has been working all day long. At the end of the day, he sends the accounting reports to his manager, which in turn will know all the events that occurred during the day. So communicating is very important in the whole process. Who uses accounting data? Internal users, such as all the people from inside the company. For instance, the marketing department. Before launching any product into the market, the marketing people need to check the accounting data to know how much they should price the product to maximize their net income, to make more profit, or to be more competitive. Other part, we have the management. The management, they need to check the accounting data to know which product they should invest more in, which product they need to eliminate. All these decisions should be based on accounting data. In addition to the first two, we have the finance. Finance people need to know as well accounting data for them to know whether or not this company is making profit, whether or not we can invest more, or whether or not we can take different decisions related to the finance department. So they need to check the accounting data to know all these type of decisions. Finally, human resources. Human resources, human resource managers, they need to know accounting data for them to know, for instance, if they are going to give raises this year or would they be able to hire new people. In addition to the internal users, we have external users. External users such as investors. Investors need to know accounting data. Whether they are investing already or they are potential investors, they need to check the data of the company, the company to know if there was any profit or any loss. In addition to the investors, we have creditors. Let's say the company decides to borrow money. When they want to borrow this money, the company or the creditor or the bank, they need to know if this company is capable of paying back the debt by checking their accounting data, by seeing if this company is profitable or not, whether they can afford to pay loans or back or not. We have different forms of business ownership. We have proprietorship, which is the type of companies owned by only one person. We have the partnership, which is owned by two or more persons. And we have the corporation, which is ownership is divided into shares of stock. During this whole semester, we will be talking mostly about the proprietorship which means owned by only one person. Accounting is based on one fundamental equation. The equation is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. This formula is the basic accounting equation. It is the fundamental accounting equation and sometimes also called the balance sheet equation. It represents the relationship between assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. What is the relationship in between assets, liabilities, and owner's equity? We will see now. 
Assets are the resources that the business owns. Anything the company owns should be recorded under assets, such as vehicles, cars, equipment, supplies, office supplies, inventory, cash. All the resources that the company owns are recorded under assets, and they are classified into four categories. Current assets, long-term investment, property, plant, and equipment, and intangible assets. On the other hand of the equation, we have liabilities and owner's equity. Liabilities and owner's equity explain how did I buy all these assets. So I have this company and I have all these resources and all my assets, but how did I pay to buy all these assets? Did I have the money or did I borrow them? If I borrowed the money, I put them under liabilities. If I had the money in the beginning, I put them under owner's equity. Therefore, liabilities are all the debts and obligations, parties to whom we owe money. In liabilities, we have two categories, current liabilities and long-term liabilities. Owner's equity are claims on total assets. In owner's equity, we have the owner's capital, and the owner's capital is changing depending on any new investment the owner put in the company or any new income or any drawings or any withdrawals done by the owner for personal use in the company. So to rephrase, assets are all the resources I have. Liabilities and owner's equity explain how did I buy all my assets. So if I bought them through debts, I put them under liabilities. If I bought them with my owners, with my owning, whatever I owned, my capital, I put them under owner's equity. Asset liabilities and owner's equity are classified as follows. In the current assets, we have cash, short-term investment, account receivable, notes receivable, inventory, supplies, prepaid expense such as prepaid rent and prepaid insurance. We have long-term investment, investment in stock, investment in real estate, property, plant, and equipment, PPE. We have land, building, buildings, vehicles, equipment. We have the intangible assets, goodwill, patent, copyright, trademark. On the other hand, we have liabilities and owner's equity. Under liabilities, we have current liabilities such as notes payable, account payable, accrued revenue, unearned revenue. We have to note that notes payable that are for due in less than one year are in current liability. When they are due in more than one year, we put them in long-term liability. We have long-term loans, bonds payable, and mortgage payable. As for owner's equity, owners, we have the owner's capital. Every company should prepare four financial statements. During this year, we will be talking about three financial statements only. The financial statements are the following. First, we have the income statement. It summarizes all the revenues earned and all the expenses incurred for a given period of time, which means the income statement show me if I'm making profit or if I'm making loss. How? By deducting all the expenses from all my revenues. Second statement is owner's equity statement. The owner's equity statement, it summarizes the change in owner's equity after adding investment and income and deducting drawings and losses. Third is the balance sheet. The balance sheet is a list of the company's assets, liabilities, and owner equity at a specific date. We put all the assets we have and we put all the liabilities and owner's equity. And at the end, the total asset should be equal to total liabilities and owner's equity. The fourth statement, which is a statement that we will not be using during this year, but we will mention it here, is the statement of cash flow. The statement of cash flow summarizes the inflow and outflow of cash for a specific accounting period. When we prepare the financial statements, we always start with the income statement, then owner's equity statement, then balance sheet. Why? Because the result of the income statement will be used in the owner's equity statement, and the result of the owner's equity statement will be used in the balance sheet. To start, 
we will be looking at our income statement. The income statement is based on all revenues minus all expenses. The result is a net income. We have a net income of 2750 In the owner's equity statement, we start by our capital at the beginning of the period. We add to it the investment. We add to it the net income, which is in this case 2750 And then we deduct the drawings, all the withdrawals that the owner took from the company for personal uses. And we get the new owner's capital at the end of the period. This owner's capital is going to be used in my balance sheet. In the balance sheet, we state all the assets we have and we state all the liabilities and owner's equity. In the owner's equity part, we put the owner's capital, the new one, the one that we found in the owner's equity statement, the 16,450. This is the capital we use. If you notice, our total assets are equal to our total liabilities and owner's equity. Balance sheet is based on this, on this equality. If I don't get the same result here and here, this means I have a problem with my balance sheet. End of chapter 1.